Well, welcome to the Foul Mouth Owl Show, everybody. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of a dry start tonight, but we're up and running. We got some good advice this week on a new holiday. And what's that? For the United States, and it's a daily holiday. Check it out. It's not, maybe it isn't so new, but it was seemed pretty fascinating to me. Whatever it is, I want to do it. I think that when it comes to masturbation and sex, that everyone, I think that we, you know, instead of the siestas during the day that people have in other countries, I think that we should have like masturbation hour, you know, <laughs> or sex hour, you know, or you at least get to get to go home and play with yourself if you don't have somebody to play with you, or you get to go home and fuck the person that you're with, because at the same hour, it's a world, it's like a Delaware, or not a Delaware, but it's a United States kind of thing. At noon, everybody goes home, and that's why they call it a nooner. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> at noon, <laughs> at noon, it's time, and then everybody just meets everybody at home. So at noon, if you were at your job, and I was at my job, we would know at 12 o'clock we would come home and we would fuck. So yes, for the new holiday... <laughs> The world stops in the United States at noon. Who was that? That was my girlfriend. I know. <laughs> she gets these ideas, and I have this iPhone, so we can record stuff. So it's lots of fun. <laughs> I can't imagine the shit you guys do. Uh, well, you can all you can find out at uh, randomfilth.com. No, I'm joking. <laughs> So how's everybody doing tonight? Welcome to the Foul Mouth Out Show. We're going to go around the table here. To my uh, cross from me, as always, is Squiggity Squig. What's up, Al? Glad to be here. Next to him is Miss Lauren Ventura. Hello. (laughs) Glad to be here, too. Country music star. Yeah. I feel like an odd one out over here. Why? Because I'm a, like, country singer. John's a country singer. Yeah? <laughs> yes, he is. John ha- Metamorphosis. <laughs> Let me find out. He metamorphosizes. John me. Hammett metamorphoses here <laughs> across from Miss Lauren Ventura. Next to John, we have William E. Bonnie. Yeah. yeah. Promoting his new album and his movie coming out. And we also have Il Kizzy. Oh. He's trying to get as far away as he can from the Reverb Nation page that we found. <laughs> yeah, go check it out, everybody. It's badass. <laughs> yeah, if you look up, well, that's how I did. I looked up um, Il Kizzy, and there was a Reverb Nation page, so I pulled it up, and he said, oh, my God, I don't even believe that thing was still there. Albert was like, damn, he's so young. Yeah, I found the page from 2008. I'm probably still 18 on that page. I ain't even doubt it. He's underage. <laughs> so he went to Delaware State University in 2010. Lake Forest High School. Your current city is Almaty, Kazakhstan. What the hell's that about? Oh, shit. You talking to the wrong person with that one. <laughs> oh, my God. That's William Bonnie. <laughs> yeah, that's William. Uh, that's William E. Bonnie. Why man. are you agreeing <laughs> with me with the Dell State? <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to Lake Forest High School? Yeah, I was like, oh, shit. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> my squid, squig, my notes are confused. What are you doing? You're confused. What though. are you doing to me? <laughs> Yo, Kizzy's from, from Philly. Yeah, that's, that's oh, what I like. Bad. Oh, shit, man. Three, four, <laughs> so he's from Philly. He's got a new hit single. Is it a single or a CD? Is it? Depends on which one we talking about. Is it Rage Bambino. Oh, Rage Bambino? We ain't even recorded that yet, but it's going to be a hit. It's going to be a hit. Yeah, Squig's got it in my notes. It's a hit. It's a hit already. Yeah. We don't need to put shit out. Yeah, we, we <laughs> Facebook <all>. creep. <laughs> he's, got, he's got YouTube hit credits. He's got credits for that on YouTube. Tell us about that. Um, I'm not sure what YouTube credits you're talking about. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even lie to that's you, because but. I just made that shit up. See, that's how it goes around here. Steve's gonna see how gullible you were still. <laughs> no, but he's done some songs with. Uh, you've done stuff with uh, Metamorphos, who is here tonight with us. I say Metamorphos, Chris Goes, Mike Shane, all local, yeah. top end artists. Yeah. Um. What's the clinic? Ask, ask him about the clinic. Hey, what's Did the you clinic? find out you had something? Man, y'all went to the clinic the other day, dog. They was like, yo. Sorry to tell you. No, this is just my mixtape coming out. So I'm about to say, think about July 4th right now. Think about dropping it then. And uh, how many songs are on it? Right now, I got about 25, so I'm trying to cut it down. Holy moly, yeah. 25 songs, mm-hmm. and you're going to cut it down. Yeah, I don't, I don't want too many songs on there. Just, you ever had that problem, Lauren? You have too many songs for an album? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what happens is, like, all I do, I just write all day, like, at work, driving. Yeah. 
almost got in a few accidents driving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you like put it in like the notes of your cell phone? Yeah, I do the same thing. Well. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, people used to think <clears throat> I was crazy for taking my guitar to work and playing it at the red lights. <laughs> You know, but that's how you do it when you're serious about that shit. You yeah. t- you're in that's traffic. Right, right, right. You're in traffic. Yeah, but these guys are wearing clothes when they do it. You're nasty. <laughs> now, now, now. What are you saying, Squig? All you wear is black socks and your guitar. <laughs> you weren't supposed to tell anybody about that, man. And a headband. You get a headband. One of them old cloth bitches. Colin Kent's here. Let's give it up for Colin. Shooting pictures and video for us. Under the direction of video, Mike Clarkson, the studio director here at Elaine Carroll Studios. What's happening, Colin? Well, just recording you, trying to make you look good. Trying. That's a good. That's a that's a tough job, isn't it? Yeah. Colin, you got this voice, man. If uh, if we put a headband and a beard on you, you'd be like Tommy Chong. Yeah, I sound perpetually stoned, man. <laughs> He's like a cross between Spicoli and uh, Chong. Spaghetti and Chong. That'll be your new nickname, Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Yep. You see, you got a new nose ring. Yeah, I finally got a new one after like two years. Are you a vampire, Colin? <laughs> what, what does that have to do with it? Do you want to be a vampire? Oh, I'm like a Next time you come on the show, you got to hang Spaghetti through that nose thing. Do it. <laughs> He'll do anything we want. Yeah, it yeah. don't matter. Colin, Colin's down. Can we shoot you with the airsoft gun? Definitely. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Later on. Later on in the foul mouth <laughs> Al show. Tonight. No, we're not going to do it tonight. He kind of likes pain, doesn't he? Yeah. We ripped all his ball sack hair off last show with uh, <laughs> wax. Yo. And he loved it. He said, do it again, do the other side. What the hell? Took all of his chest hair off, all of his pubes. Colin needs gas money. Mike, did you give him gas money? Did you hack into um, Il Kizzy's bank account? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Is that how you got gas money to go away with Awake at Last? Tell us about that, man. Somebody broke into your bank account? Yeah, man. I woke up 7 a.m. Probably, probably five days ago. Bank account hacked. Got a call. They was like, yeah, did you make this charge to so-and-so? I'm like... Oh, I doubt it, because one, I was asleep, too. I don't even know who the hell that is. <laughs> <laughs> so that'd be kind of difficult. I mean, the bank called me probably, like, maybe four hours later. They was like, yeah, you'll have your money back, but sorry for your luck. <laughs> <laughs> so you just lost your money for a little while, then. You didn't, like, yeah. really get a big hit on no, it. No, it wasn't nothing. It wasn't nothing serious. How did they know? I have no idea. I said, they just happened to call me. They was like, did you do this and that? I was like, nah. Not that I know of. I mean, what were was, they charging? They said, um, they said like, "Am I some other shit?" I'm like, "Mission Impossible." What? Like, I don't know what the fuck that is. They're, they're getting G glide. What is it? They're getting G glide. <laughs> G glide. Somebody was ordering G glide. <laughs> For those of y'all that don't know, do you know what a G glide is? Nope. Oh, man. She's a girl and she doesn't know. Tell her, tell her what uh, the G glide is. There, metamorphosis. G glide. He's a G glide he manager. That. Yeah. <laughs> Gentle Glide. Tampon. <laughs> <laughs> He's a manager for uh, Playtex. He makes oh, yeah. Gentle Glide tampon. There you go. Did you know what that was? If you know, girls want a no discount, idea. here's your guy. He, Tampax Pearl, maybe? He's got him in his trunk of his car. <laughs> <laughs> Black bags and boxes of tampons. <laughs> he's the, he's a tampon pusher. I know, right? Save me some money and some groceries. Damn. Hey, man, whatever it takes, right? You got to save here, you got to save yep. there. You're a working girl. I am. A couple of times you had to uh, walk to work in the snow, you filled your boots up with them, didn't you? <laughs> Feet was dry. He didn't ever send it. Damn right. What's the scent of the week this week? <coughs> <laughs> Do you change the sense on, in there? You said they change it up every once in a while, didn't they? Yeah, the colors. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's a, for a girl thing. I don't know. Colors, depending on the day. <laughs> is that what it is? So if you buy a case of tampons, did it come in different colors? No. No. It's one color. It's one color? Yeah. Where the fuck I mean, like, work? every size, like, is a different color. That's why yes. you should try g <laughs> They look like bullets, and I don't know. <laughs> I've seen them. I've seen them. It's like a case of bullets, right? And they got little teeny ones, and then they got these big giant ones. Probably, like, chicks, I don't know. Maybe. 
I don't know. I don't have to do that. I'm glad that's one thing about, you know, yeah. being a guy. Yeah, y'all are some lucky bitches with that one. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thank God. Anyway, I think I'm about to be out of there pretty soon because um, Dover Downs actually gave me a little offer. They did? To do what? You're live on the Foul Mouth Out show, man. They might hear that shit right. and cancel you. <laughs> right. Yeah. G Glide will be your rap song here soon. <laughs> I was, it was all good until the G Glide was gone. <laughs> yeah. G, my G Glide ran out. <laughs> he told me, it, I, Squig had it in his notes to say, talk about G Glide when he came in, and I, did, I thought that was his rap. <laughs> I, I thought it was a new album coming out or something. Oh, Lord. We named that show um, G Glide and the. Uh, Somebody saw us. Who else was here that night? Oh, Chappelle saw us. Chappelle saw Dave Chappelle was here. <laughs> Dave Chappelle is going to be playing Todd, up there at the Sports Zone, yeah. 235 Stadium Street. That's and what is the date way. on that show? The 24th of April. The 24th of April. It's like next Wednesday. Yep. So come on out to the Sports Zone in Smyrna yeah. and check us out. Man, these shows come With quick. Lauren Ventura and Todd Chappelle. You no, said it's Dave. Dave Chappelle. It's Todd. Shh, it's Dave. <laughs> yeah, We're trying to attract people. There's going to be 400 bikers there that night, so oh, you'll get fine. some exposure. Bring some CDs to sell, yeah, stuff to sign, definitely. T-shirts, stuff like that, whatever you got. Yep. Come check it out. I wonder how they're going to act with a comedian. Oh, he's funny. I know. He funny. sings about Delaware and stuff. He's so, <laughs> so Il Kizzy, before we move on from you, my friend, you brought a few songs. Yeah. And uh, is this is this stuff that hasn't been released yet, or what do we got um, here? One of them hasn't been released. The other one has. Which one hasn't been released? <laughs> you know we're going for that shit. We're going for that one. <laughs> I'll say the one that hasn't been released is it's called Bitch. It's Bitch. featuring my man Metamorph over here. Mm. I'll say, um, basically, no bitches. <laughs> <laughs> the best way to describe it. Well, are you are you married, single, widow, or divorced? Um. We just not gonna answer that one right now. <laughs> he just got a lot of bitches. He's gonna be divorced if he it's ain't like seen. A crazy form of bitch. It's like it's not actually for a female sake. Here, let's check it out. Come on, man, you're giving up the surprise. This is El Kizzy. <laughs> Found out the Al exclusive. Check it out. It's amazing how these bitches all adore me And people hating cause I'm moving on yeah. Forwardly, no conversation for niggas Who be acting like these hoes no OG out on these beats Until they scared of me Freak so This man and I get them out Bring them racks for me I ain't gotta do it, man You shorty break the back for me Collectively motivated oh, yeah. Blow like a detonation oh, yeah. Leave them all disintegrated Hopped up like the abomination I'm tired of leaving all this shit subliminal. Uh -huh. You talked a lot, but I'm about to drop it to a minimal. Ain't worried about you niggas' jealousy and accusations. Never. Say I don't fuck with you and I ain't breathe a damn statement. Why? That's what you get for lying out your ass, uh -huh. nigga, man, cause I'm raking up. You Pretty man. soon I'm about to dash, okay. nigga. Now you say you love me? Man, fuck all that for fake shit. Yeah. Middle finger in your face, cause you ain't nothing to me but a... These niggas be far and claim that shit they never did. So in other words, these niggas was never shit. It bees what it be. It is what it is. Fuck you mad for, I swear to God, you look on like a... And if you hate and on us go and suck a dick Probably cause you fucked a chick Dog, you some months off fucking acting like a tough guy But you actually a you actin' like a bitch We all in uh, bitch I hear another lame nigga trying to diss me I'm looking like bitch, please You sweeter than some brisk tea Playing foul with me is only gonna lead the big fees And had them bullets coming at you like a quick speed I'm ill, bitch That was just a quick reminder These bitches think they ballin' I just call them Britney Griner Dudes like a locksmith My niggas love to pop it Chop them down to the red skin No rock grip I'm super sick, these rappers was never nice Been through hell all my life, I should go to heaven twice Know these clowns is extra tight, wait until the kid famous I'm proving all my critics wrong, skip Bayless I get paper, that's why I dismiss haters I pay these fours no mind like the kid rangers Big stainless, don't make me have to reach for mine You talk tough, I see it in your eyes You really just a, these niggas be bought and claim that shit they never did so in other words, you niggas was never shit It be what it be, it is what it is Fuck you mad for, I swear to God you look like a 
And if you hate it and want us going and suck a dick Probably cause we fucked this chick Dog, you some motherfucking acting like a tough guy But you actually a you acting like a bitch We all know you a bitch It's whatever though If niggas wanna take it there You can bring your squad I'm bringing bitches too To make it fair I'm ill nigga Didn't we discuss this Constipated version swag I ain't with that fuck shit Yeah And you really just a Yeah So why you acting like a Oh And by the way I fucked up <laughs> <laughs> Quit acting like a bitch, Squig. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck you, Al. <laughs> Quit acting like a bitch over there. I'm man, Il Kizzy. Il Kizzy, you're, yeah. a, you're a badass, man. You're a tough motherfucker. <laughs> hey, let's see you run. <laughs> I bet you'll punch a bitch and take her check, won't you? <laughs> Oh, He'll punch her and take her check. He went to all his gals. How many women you got? Stolen. I bet you got six women, don't you? Oh, man, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh huh. <laughs> He's Mormon if he ain't. <laughs> Did you vote for Mitt Romney? Nah. No? <laughs> nah. I'm just wondering, those are questions you got to ask people. Nah, I ain't vote for him. I ain't even actually vote. I ain't going to lie to you. I didn't vote. You didn't vote? Nah. He said, fuck There's that. A reason. <laughs> Can't Lauren, did you vote? I did. Who'd you vote for? Obama. You want to tell us? Who'd you vote for, Squid? Obama. Who'd you vote for? Obama. You didn't vote? Metamorphos didn't vote. <laughs> nah, I don't William vote William Bonnie don't vote I either. I don't vote either, man. See that? Mm. So, uh... Who'd you vote for? I voted for Obama. So four out of the six people at the table voted for Obama. What about Colin? Colin. He didn't vote. I voted Libertarian. What about Sarah? Quit picking your nose, Colin. Yeah, Sarah, who'd you vote for? Yeah, Sarah, who'd you vote for? <laughs> You didn't. She didn't. That's how I vote, though. Libertarian. Just imagine if Mitt Romney had won the election. Mm. <laughs> You'd have <laughs> bitches all around you. <laughs> Damn, I should have voted for him. <laughs> Who? Mitt Romney? Hey, if I'm gonna have bitches all around me. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a catch twenty two though. They cost money. Mitt Romney's racist. Did you know that? He don't like black people, man. I'm telling you right now. Oh, yeah, he's prejudiced. God damn. Didn't you hear about the weave story? What, he smokes weed? No, he was going to ban weave. What, hair weave? Hair weave? Yeah. <laughs> That's a shame. That's that would have shut right. Playtex down, yeah, wouldn't it? Damn. Man, we'd have a G-Glock crisis around this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Man, I'd be throwing 10 <laughs> Like I was doing newspapers. Yeah, if people would be tying nah. them together, use them as dreadlocks. Metamorphosis, it'd be a shortage. Metamorphosis would be rolling his own out in a shed out yeah. back of his house. <laughs> it just need that pressing machine. You'd be good. He'd been stealing boxes from Playtex for years. He's got a, he's got a big warehouse full of shit. Rolling your own out in the just shed? call me Trifecta, man. Trifecta. 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 Okay, so Il Kizzy, you got your money back? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, good. And the CD's coming out when? Um, I'm looking at July 4th right now. July 4th? Yeah. Independence Day? Yeah. Declare your independence? Yeah. <laughs> Are you declaring your independence from bitches? Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's where I got the idea from, actually. I'm not even going to lie to you. So are you single now? I can't answer that one. <laughs> so does your girlfriend know you're here? Um, what girlfriend? All right. Uh, <laughs> damn. Does your wife know about your girlfriend? <laughs> I what? told you you could bring your wife or your girlfriend, but not both. Damn. You did say that. Yeah. You did say Is that, that your bitch? Oh. <laughs> oh. Did, did oh. you come here with John? Take a G-Glock. <laughs> <laughs> well, you needed to soak up the blood after that no. night. <laughs> This is, that just got a whole different situation. <laughs> oh, They're multi-purpose, those g -glides. You can do a lot of stuff with them. Bloody nose. William Off Bonnie's here. Up. Let's give it up for William. Thanks for coming in. You're welcome, man. So, um... You got the right guy? Huh? You got the I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, Squid, Squid gives me notes. Don't tell me nothing. You God. Know, you know how to read. Is this your Reverb Nation page? No. Of course it is. No, nah, that's datpiff.com right there. That's that piff. So you, you're on that piff. You're not on Reverb Nation. No, nah, I don't do Reverb Nation too much. How come? It just doesn't feel right. It's just as an artist, I don't like competing on with the towns and stuff like that. You know, I'm an international artist. Foreign is my goal. And, you know, to be competing with local artists, I don't think that's good for 
a guy that wants to be bigger than a state, you know? Sure. So. Absolutely. Yeah. It just says rank, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be pigeonholed in Delaware. Isn't that right, Lauren? <laughs> right. Get out of here as soon as I can. <laughs> and Lauren is on her way out the door. Yes, she so. um, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, William, you have a couple of things going on here. Yeah. You got the new album, Warm Hands, coming out. Tell us about that. Yeah, Warm Hands is coming out beginning of the summer. It's, it's a classic album. You know, I put it together with my producer, Cosadell. He stuck with me since day one. It's, it's, it's dedicated to changing as a person, you know, becoming a man, being mature as an artist, you know. But I just want the people to know that the world is bigger than the United States. It's bigger than Africa. It's bigger than Europe. It's bigger than Asia. You know, we're living in a world. So warm hands is dedicated to making your hands warm instead of being in the cold, being poor, being struggling everywhere. So that's what warm hands really symbolize for me as an artist. Very good. Yeah. Very good. So uh, your current city is Almaty, Kazakhstan. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Did you fly in just for us? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> hey, listen, my people in Amati, it's Amati, Kazakhstan. Okay. They're, they're going to love this show right now. That's awesome. I... <laughs> We're in Kazakhstan already. <laughs> we are. We're in over 20 some yeah. countries. I don't know how many countries we're in. We lost count. I think it was 24 by this time. It was a shitload. Nah, I, I put Amati because that's that's what a great friend of mine is. I, I, honestly, I would not be rhyming right now if it wasn't for my friend that, that flew over here every summer to chill with me. She just happened to be from Amati. So, you know, she inspired me to get my passport, visa, and everything. So now I can travel the country you now. So Amati, Kazakhstan, that's a place that I would like to make my home one day. So I figured I'd just put it down. Tell of, us about Amati. Amati is uh, it's, it's in Central Asia, you know. Uh, it's, it's multicultural, multi-religious. It, it, it holds all religions there, so you don't ne- necessarily have to be a Muslim. You could be a Christian and still keep your beliefs. You understand what I'm saying? And it's uh, it's just foreign. It's just, it's a different place. It's not like America. America is America. You know, you step out in America, you know what the store is going to look like. You know what the liquor store is going to look like. You know where it's going to be at. You know where the gas station is at <laughs> and all that. Yeah, on every corner. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, yo. You know who's going to be in the 7-Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That too. So, you know what I mean? So just... Amati, it's, it's, it's a beautiful place. I know so much knowledge of it now. And to have the app phone that gives me free international calls to call to Amati anytime I want to, it makes it more... What's that called? Oh, the, the app? The app phone. Oh, it's called 011 International. It's an app that you can download. You can just get free calls across the whole entire world for free. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so, you know, it's right there in the palm. It's an app called 011? 011, yep, International. Well, check that out, Yeah, kids. download It's free, yep. Tell us more about Amati. <laughs> it's not too much more about my <laughs> yeah. Are people naked there? <laughs> nah, I doubt uh, it. I doubt fuck it. That. <laughs> did, he have, did, he, did he have nude beaches? <laughs> I doubt that too. Did they smoke it, weed? Now listen, in Amati, they grow weed on yeah! the side of the highways. Let's go to Amati. They grow weed on the side of the highways, but the bad thing is they don't got time to even focus on rolling that up. There's so much going on where it's like the rivers disappeared in Amati, Kazakhstan. Like, it's so poor, but it's so rich at the same time. So you're dealing with a diverse... The river disappeared. Yeah, it disappeared. That's a fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute now. Water's important, dude. Let it, me tell you something. Yeah, it, it really is. If you People go, don't realize that If you shit. go to Google and put in uh, Sea of the Lost Ships slash Amati, Kazakhstan, you'll get all your knowledge from that. So, so you, they ain't got no seafood. No I seafood. I ain't going up there, man. No seafood. <laughs> but you do have... Uh, vegetables and stuff like that. So, <laughs> if you want to eat healthy, that's the place for you. Well, how, you, know do you I mean? how do you water them fucking vegetables? <laughs> did, the ri- did the rice patty dry up? Um, I doubt it. It's plenty of rice. They're right next to the China, so they need rice. I just gotta call their neighbors. You know? Yeah, but if the river, the river is what flooded yeah, see, the rice patties. See, that's a, that's the bad thing. It might not. They might not have their own rice patties there. You know, they might gotta buy it from another country. Did the river dry up for real? It's gone. It's There's gone. No river. It's gone. I'm gonna tell you why. Why it's gone? Because the Soviet Union. They built a, a wall there where the river was. So over a year time, so quickly, the river start, stopped going to another direction. It just went to another place. And everywhere where the ships was, where people used to fish at and get their food and produce from, it just stopped in one year flat, you know. So there's so, boats wow. and shit laying out? There's boats laying there like right a, now, yep. Like a ghost desert. Like, like a ghost desert. <laughs> so that had to help their economy, I'm sure. <laughs> Good Lord. But you know what's crazy, though, in, in Kazakhstan? You know we got a lot of nuclear war, uh, nuclear war talks right now with Korea. 
in a, one of the places that they're holding their uh, meetings at is in Astana, which is the capital of Kazakhstan. So all the world powers are meeting in Astana right now to like get Iran to get rid of their nuclear weapons as well as Korea. But I really doubt that. I doubt happened. it too. Yes. Young boy with some nuclear weapons. Yeah. Shit. They should all just chill out, pull off to the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, smoke we got, that weed, weed chop right down the weed tree, <laughs> roll up. You know. And they ain't got time for it. They don't roll it up. Just throw it in the can and just smoke that. It's crazy. Like I would be chilling right now if I was there. It would be no World War talk. You right find now. me laying on the side of the street. <laughs> no. That's how we got Squig on the show. He was on the side of the street. <laughs> he was bored. He was bored. What was I doing? Master B. <laughs> I saw that one. That I was that, gonna, town, that time in town, wasn't it? Yes, and I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna have Very that in smart. front of my property there. <laughs> so you brought me home and fed me. And he ain't left yet. <laughs> so tell us about your movie that's coming up, Band from <clears throat> DE. Band from DE. That will be a major film as far as like on the independent side. Uh, it's directed by DJ Formula. A platinum family radio. I don't know if a lot of people's familiar with him, but he's very big in the state of Delaware right now. DJ Phone is a really good guy. He put a lot of independent artists on to be inside this film. And even cats that might want to be in, in, in it right now, they still have time because the movie doesn't release until June. So if you would like a feature, you can just hit DJ Formula up and, uh, or contact me and we can get you in there. But the movie is very official. It's about, I'm playing a crooked cop inside the movie. Um, I hate five rap artists. I hate I hate them to the core, and uh, I sell drugs also. And uh, my partner, which is Costa Dell, which happens to be my producer, um, he sets me up in the movie, you know, because I get these guys to sell drugs for me. But I'm a cop, but he gets all the evidence against me, and I get killed at the end, basically. So, but it's very interesting. Damn, spoiler you, um, alert. Do you wear uh, use a cane? <laughs> nah. Do you use a cane in the movie? Nah, I use no cane. You said you're crooked. Yeah, I'm, I'm crooked, but that, I mean, I just sell cocaine. That's why, you know. I thought you were all jacked up. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I sell cocaine in the movie, so. No, he don't walk with a limp. Nah. He's not crooked <laughs> like that. <screen>. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah, Band from D is coming out. I'm looking forward to that. I think the people should really be excited about that. So that's coming out in June. Where is it going to be released? Um, Hopefully, we're going to do a little red carpet venue inside Wilmington. We don't know which club we're going to use, but we're just going to have the big screen. And Isn't there like a couple of film festivals coming up you guys can enter it into? How long is the movie going to be? Um, the movie, I think it'll be about 59 minutes, close to an hour. Just, just something simple, you know. Uh, they, we're looking to a couple of film festival places to go, but that's not my department. We're leaving out the DJ form. I'm just there. Do my part, act in it, you know, promote it. So it's DJ Formula? Yeah. DJ okay. Formula's behind the movie. We'll have to look him up. Squig, yeah. look yep. that guy up. I got his name. You got him? You got on him. It? You on it? He'll be on it tomorrow. You on it? That's good, Squig. It's about time you're on something. Shit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> got to get on you. It's like two weeks ago. I was like, what about Lauren Ventura? He's like, who? <laughs> what? Huh? I was like, I don't see her on a schedule. Huh? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> his cell phone wasn't working, so his Facebook was down, and his neighbor's Wi-Fi was, was out of range. <laughs> <laughs> so he was having a bad week. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's rough out there, you know? It is rough. You need that Wi-Fi. You need that. So we got a handful of songs on here from your mixtape. Yeah. Let's listen to one of them. Which one do you like? Which one do you think? Oh, man. Lead we, us up into it. I am on my way. Go ahead and start out with the beginning. We start out with Street Life. Street Life? Yeah. All right. We got it turned up, kids. Let's rock and roll. This is William E. Bonnie on Dat Piff with Street Life. Definition of the mastermind is this. So 
them back up don't walk by my car door nigga i'm strapped up act up you want to get clapped up 25 of life bad luck oh well for seven connecting i'ma sign to send you all to hell uh i should have been murdered yeah he thought he killed me the doctor sold me up he healed me this is the real me the old me is history history misery you feel me if not then feel free to diss me Ripped out, thank God the connection came through. Yeah. See, uh, the solar flare, I'm in the atmosphere. Cry to the one true in the sky. Go and kill them, let them die. You go vote at the election. Some foreign will weapon with a cosmic kissing. Four guns got an Israel connect. Call me at nine. I need to fuel up my jets. We flying in like a madman. I cannot catch my breath. They say it's a war going on. Where's the war? The war in your mind. Can't control that you die. Goodbye. EJ, what's good with the kilo? 36 O's make me a hero. Everyone needs a hero. I came up from zero. My head hurts, I need a pillow. Coast, keep my base up high. Just balance out my tempo. Tempo, yeah. You know what to do when you see that open window. You go through. Everything from your past, don't let it hold you. Just go through. I learn from the fishes. Power and resistance. Can't tell if this car engine is started or sitting. Half a world away is the mission. The castle is right there in the distance. Distance. Her hair is long. My AK is long. AK is my home. Out there is my throne. They say it's not fair that I'm gone. Yeah. No pack music. We out. William Bond, let's give it up. Yeah. So what's happening with uh, William Bonnie? When do you plan on uh, getting on the road and seeing some of your fans out there? Um, this summer, uh, I will be looking for a whole bunch of different places to perform at. So that's my main goal because I need to get this bread so I can make it to Amati, which is my goal for the end of this year. So. Everyone will be seeing me, William E. Bonnie, as an artist, and as well as anybody affiliated with me. So, so you're gonna have a new album for them. New album. T-shirts. T-shirts. Yeah. Hats. No hats. Beer coolers. No, no beer coolers. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind I'm of merchandise do you got? <laughs> Yo, we got cell phone cases, iPhone cases. You know what I mean? So, you got iPhone cases. Yeah, yeah. Notepad Music. That's the name of the company that me and my. What is it? Owned. No what? Notepad Music. Notepad Music. It's on your notes, Notepad Al. Music. Notepad. Notepad music. <laughs> no. Oh, did they sell them at make them at Playtex? <laughs> Notepad music? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, street life. Smoking blunts. <laughs> <laughs> Pimping. Right. <laughs> All that stuff. So, um, you're looking to move to Almaty? Yeah, I will be looking to move there. Right now, you're living in Chester? No, nah, that's, that's my home. Right now, I'm just living in Delaware. I'm going to say it like that. Just in Delaware. In Delaware, You're yeah. about. Yeah. So, you need a place to stay tonight? <laughs> <laughs> How much does that cost, huh? Oh, man. Nah, I got a place to stay. <laughs> that's good. You just let us know if you need a place to stay. I got you. I got you the number. We got, an extra, we got extra rooms. Here at Lane Carroll Studios, they got extra room upstairs. You can crash here. Nice. We'll let we'll let it happen. So um, watch out for William E. Bond. He's got the new album coming out and the movie coming out in June. So and um, what else is going on, Squee? Not a goddamn thing. Huh? Work. How's your work been? Tell us about it. Anybody die lately? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we had five of them in one day. I hate it when that happens. Summertime, it's shit just, gets hot. Your air conditioner breaks. Every change of seasons. And the old people kick off. Go. It's sad. It's sad. Well, we're all destined to die sooner or later anyway. I'm voting for later. Yeah, me too. Somebody who doesn't want to die anytime soon is Miss Lauren Ventura. 
she's got a long life in front of her. I hope so. <laughs> How old are you, young lady? I am about to be 20. About to be 20. Holy shit. She's not even old enough to drink that wine uh, she's got yeah. in her hand. Holy shit. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. She's not drinking. There's no drinking at the Foul Mouth Owl Show this week. <laughs> we'll see what happens next week. So she's a demo singer at the in-studio recordings. What does that mean? I don't... My mother does my Facebook page, so honestly... I was like, wow, what is Well, that? I sing demos at um, Digital Street Studios sometimes with Kevin Nemeth. Okay. Um, so Very I was good. doing that for a while. And that's how I met you. You were doing yes. a recording, and I was down there doing some commercial work for uh, Kevin to be on ExploreDE.com on yep. Delaware's first TV channel. So, yep. Very cool. So, And then you came to the pinup contest. Yes. And I barely... Sarah rec- Day was there, too. Sarah was there, too. <laughs> I remember Sarah. I don't remember you. <laughs> yeah. I didn't recognize her until afterwards when we were doing the pictures. I was like, holy shit, I, I remember... a lot of makeup on that night. <laughs> <laughs> There was a lot of stuff going on that night. It was yep. it was a busy place <laughs> yeah, that night. Yeah, it was jam packed. It was jam packed. Yeah. People were pissed off. Could, why? Because it, I think they were over the fire code. Oh yeah. The bouncer was nervous. <laughs> Look, uh, <laughs> the contestants couldn't even get up to the stage. It was I so told them not to sweat it. The fire marshal ain't doing nothing on Saturday night. Shit, it's Saturday night. <laughs> he ain't doing nothing. He's out whipping it up. He's watching right. Saturday Night Live. They're all drunks, aren't they? That's what I heard. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Il Kizzy told us. I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they ran up his bill and he blamed it on other it's shit. Okay. <laughs> so it says here you went to the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. When that got on there. Are you a witch? Yeah. Squig's been talking all week. Squig's been talking all week that yeah. you're a witch. Did you bring your broom? Is that what's yeah, in there? Yeah, I already cast a curse on you before I gave it. Oh, fuck. Cast a curse on us. I think it's working. <laughs> she likes wonton soup. What is? I didn't honestly. That is like the worst information you get. It's on my Facebook page. The only girl I know on Facebook that doesn't have bathroom pictures. What's wrong with that? What's up with that? Oh, like the selfie pictures. Yeah, you don't have any no. bathroom pictures. No. Yeah, about the same. Not about the same. <laughs> Toilet in the background, you know. <laughs> At least a hand rail, a towel rack. Yeah, or something. yeah that's like um, what's her. Uh, Kirsten. Kirsten took a picture of herself, had a big dildo sitting on the counter in the back. It was wow. not a dildo. She had a blow-up dick in her hanging up in her room like a big balloon. <laughs> oh. I didn't see the dildo. Maybe there was. I think I saw a dildo in a picture of hers once. I'm, we're going to have to research that shit. She came in and we described her bathroom because we've seen so many damn bathroom pictures. Oh. <laughs> well, that I'm really good friends with a photography group, so they do a lot of my headshots. And I actually just went, um, got back from going cross-country with them. And they shot two of my music videos as we drove cross country. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so I got some really good shots. So I don't, I guess I don't really. So you got music videos coming out? Hopefully, yeah. um, It's be in the process of editing, and I got to get in the recording studio and lay down the tracks for that. But hopefully soon, I'll have two music videos out. Cool. Yep. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Um, So you're about to kick your career in gear. Yeah. And you got a job at Victoria's Secret. Yes. (laughs) Stepping it up. But you're moving to Nashville, Tennessee. Yes, I am. Where you can um, hopefully get in front of some better <laughs> contacts, network with some yeah. better people. Yeah. The Delaware is pretty small in the music industry. Yeah, it um, is. So mm-hmm. it's hard, yeah. you know, to really meet um, solid contacts up here. So moving to Nashville, you know, living the dream, working full time, playing my music when I can, writing when I can, and we'll see what goes, what happens from there. Very awesome. So yep. you got a job when you get down there. Yes, what are you going to do, do for exposure for yourself when you get to Nashville? Um, How will you get your name out there? Well, um, I, we just got back, Sarah and I, because we write together as well. Um, she's also a songwriter. Fellow songwriter. Sarah, <laughs> assistant songwriter. Um, we just got back from Co-writer. a uh, songwriting workshop where you can play for publishers um, <clears throat> who are in the industry down there. So um, I'm applying for that again um, for the summer. So there's that. And then just playing, you know, you go out and you play open mics, you play writer's rounds, and you just get your name buzzed around town. and. You know, hopefully somebody picks you up and brings you along for the ride. So right. That's what I'm looking to do. Get your name out there. Yep. Just play my music. So do you have any CDs out yet? I don't have any <coughs> CDs out yet. Um, Kevin from Digital Street Studio just um, did my demo, so I'm really kind of shopping that out right now. I'm trying to get in the process of gigging and getting my album together, but I did bring my guitar. Yeah. Very good. Play, play some of that. Well, that would be fantastic. All right. So Super do you have some new here. stuff you're gonna you're gonna play yeah, for? Yeah, some originals. Let me get that hooked up. Go ahead and hook it up. We'll All listen right. to one of your songs in the meantime. Here's one called "Fishing." 
Oh, Lord. On your Reverb Nation page. <laughs> or Shooting for the Stars. Shooting Which one? Stars, yeah. Want to go for that one? All right, here's Shooting for the Stars with Lauren Ventura. Little change of pace here, guys. <laughs> Wake up, Casey. I'm good. He went like this. I need a city life in an upbeat town and a Know that only time can tell I gotta do the right thing And play my cards right Life is both heaven and hell I pray I make my mama proud It's gonna be a battle I know it's gonna be hard Shooting for the stars Not for the party but a down home girl I can hold my own in this mixed up world There's a fire burning in this old heart of mine I was working paycheck to paycheck And working hard for the next trend When I get my money tied, I'll be living right I'ma have a big name, no more small town Tuxedos and ball gowns It's gonna be a battle I'm gonna get a few scars Shooting for the stars Not for the party but a down home girl I can hold my own in this mixed up world Turning back, it's my time to shine I can hear them calling my name. Whoa, whoa. I feel a party, but a down home girl. I held my own in this mixed up world. I'm turning back, it's my time to shine. Lauren Ventura, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. yeah. Shooting for the stars. Yes. So is that an older song? Uh, that's like from two years ago. Two years ago? I was ago? like 16. My um, parents took me down to Nashville, and I actually recorded that in a Nashville studio and got like, all studio musicians on it and everything. So. Nice. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool experience. Very cool. So two years ago... You were 16, but now you're 20. Or three years ago. <laughs> Four years ago. My math is bad. Know, I'm, I'm sorry. It, I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> so you're not a witch. Because no. all week long, Squig was telling me that you were a witch. He was scared. He didn't know if you were going to put a spell on him. <laughs> I thought you were going to make me a wicker man. Turn him into a frog. <laughs> that is false information. <laughs> Your mom did that to you? No, I, some friend. I don't know. Honestly, it's been on there. I let Albert do mine. Good Lord. She read half the shit on mine. I ain't touched yours. I don't I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you said I could open up tins of tomato soup with my dick. I never said yes, that. You did. You put all kinds of shit on there. No, it wasn't me. Yes, you did. I did not. I let you set it up. I didn't do it. I left it there. Tins of tomato soup. What the? Well, Lauren's got a guitar. What kind of guitar is that? This is a Breedlove guitar. A Breedlove uh, so guitar. You're familiar with uh, Taylor guitars? Yes. Um, Taylor and Breedlove used to be in business together, and um, Breedlove was kind of like, I want to start my own guitar line, you know? And so Taylor was like, all right, well, I'll give you the sketches and the blueprints for them, and they're very, very similar in sound and, and look. So I got this one when I was 16 in Nashville as well, so... Very cool. So yeah. you got a song you're going to do for us yes. here live yeah. on the Foul Mouth Owl Show. Is yes. this a new song? or This is the one that you actually were recording um, when you were filming for his show. When we were demoing, it's called um, Let Me Be Your Shot of Whiskey. <coughs> oh, that's very, I remember that song. Yeah. yeah, that one stuck out of there. Stuck out in my mind. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so this is called Let Me Be Your Shot of Is this out anywhere else right now? This is, uh, will be on my Reverb Nation page soon. But, but it's not right now. So this is another Foul Mouth Owl exclusive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice to 
Late applause, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's. And you almost left her go out of... God damn it! What the hell's wrong with you? She'll be at the Sports Zone, 235 Stadium Street, Smyrna, Delaware. There you go, that's 24. April 24th. Yep. Come check out Laura Ventura and Dave Chappelle. Yep. It's not Todd Chappelle, it's Dave Chappelle. (laughs) I mean, it's not, yeah. It's one of them guys. Did I say Dave Chappelle? No, you said Todd. I meant Todd Chappelle. (laughs) All right, so Lauren's about to skip town. Yep. And uh, Dawn's here. Let's give Dawn a hand. Dawn Snow. Uh, Snow. Yeah, we had you on the show earlier. We had you on the show earlier. What? You were on the show earlier. Oh. Yeah, you were on the show earlier. We had uh, we had the um, the little clip of the nooner. We're, we're making it a national daily pastime thanks to I Dawn. Had my own nooner, so. Huh? Yeah, she did. She had her own nooner today. <laughs> Here's to having your own nooner. So you didn't eat lunch? No. Oh. <laughs> no, she was lunch. Yes. <laughs> I'm the only one clapping on that. That's everybody scared. Because you're nasty. (laughs) I'm nasty, baby. Not as nasty as Squig, though. Squig's sending me gay texts last night. (laughs) Let's review this shit. All right. 
Do you guys send each other gay texts and stuff no. when you get drunk? No. What the no. hell? <laughs> I'm not playing this shit. Let me make sure you're saying the right shit. Squig's sending me some texts. Um, all right, now what I want <laughs> what the ones you, you I told Squig live well and enjoy life life's too short I say chronic stones rupture the proverbial testicular material <laughs> why did I say that and he said I have testicular men invite invite us <laughs> <laughs> and I said you love cocks <laughs> and he said men in just me on top of you. <laughs> That's all one word, too. I'm just, this is all one word. Squig's making up words. And I put a number before that, right? No, he said, men in just me on top of you. That was one word. And then, and then he said, That's my sports name. <laughs> then he goes, All guests are hyping, ready to go. They have their music for you. I have their music for you and your notes. I said, Cool, thanks. I said, he said, How are you doing? I said, Good. I'm meeting with JQ. That's it. No, wait a minute now. <laughs> you wishful thoughts when you were having your nooner. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else did he say? You looking back months, ain't you? No, this was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> he called me five old baby eagle and side shot. Why did you call me that? Because of my nose. <laughs> side shot. That's so I have a big up. nose. So what? Do you have a big nose? Do you think I have a big nose, Lauren? I don't it's like she's lying normal. right now. I can she tell. Said, <laughs> she's lying. She says it's well. I don't think it's that enormous. Right, right. <laughs> what do you say, yo, Kizzy? No, you got a normal nose. See, I said that with a straight face, though, right? Yeah. All right, I, I take a that. normal nose. Dawn, what do you normal. think of my nose, dear? I love your nose. She loves my nose. Thank you. Yeah, that's my that's my girlfriend deep, over right? there. <laughs> so Squig called my penis a magic stick. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what we. That's, I figured I'd throw that word into it. Because he called it a love stick. I'm like, no. Nah. That led into our next conversation, which uh, I'll let you talk. I'll let you hear right here since she brought it up. I am not discussing this with you what? when you're recording this thing. Discussing what? All right, so. She's, she, we just, I just explained why I had two pair of underwear on. Okay, I had two pair of underwear on yesterday. Do you ever wear two pair of underwear, Squig? Gotta keep the hose off. That's right. See, Squig knows what I'm talking about. Is that what you're talking about? That is exactly what I'm talking about. Colin, do you ever wear two pair of underwear? I'm not wearing any underwear right now. Colin. So, Colin's, Colin wants the hose to he get it. He has no pubic hair and no underwear. He would walk around naked if I let him. <laughs> About. I wear extra underwear to ward off the horse. What horse attacked you? Today? All the horse. <laughs> what attack? What horse attacked you today? Sounds Every like little kissy story. Where? Or one that I walk past. Where? Everywhere. Smyrna, Dover, Camden, Harrington. And they. I was on the road. <laughs> Felton. They attacked. They tried to. They didn't get near it today. <laughs> At every red light, there was horse. <laughs> and they wanted my dick. <laughs> my magic orgasm <laughs> stick. <laughs> See, my magic orgasm stick. So that's enough of that. It didn't seem too interesting. <laughs> you guys don't want to hear about that shit. So Squig said, don't ever chase me with it. <laughs> yeah, because it'd be like shit on a stick. I'll be gone. And I said, you're a fag. Come out of the closet on the show tomorrow. I'll reject you. Then you can make a go for Colin or video Mike. <laughs> so, Squig, if you, had to pref if you had to choose between Colin and video Mike. It'd be Colin. I'd slap his ass around. Video Mike put up a fight. Thank you. Colin, so you're saying you think Colin's easy. I can hang something through his ear loop. <laughs> Squig then says he gets Squig gets fingered dry with nostrils fluctuating orgasmic aromas at taint. Who said that? At you? taint. Yeah. What? That's what you said. That's what I said. This is drunk stuff. <laughs> what did it say? Me and Dawn are sitting there laughing at this shit. Wow. It's all right. And so I just laughed because he said at the symbol taint. And so I put hashtag taint my thing. <laughs> Sorry. Lauren's about to throw up over here. <laughs> Just try to ignore it. <laughs> Lauren's a good Christian girl moving to Nashville, Tennessee. I never said that. We're ruining her here on the Foul Mouth Owl Show. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> no? It's all about being a bottle. I know. I just, yeah, just talking about whiskey and booze. Yeah. Don't come and... tea. I'll be your bottle of whiskey. She's our bottle of whiskey. <laughs> 
So, are you married, widowed, single, divorced? Um, can I, can I, no comment? No comment? Can I pull one of them? Good lord. <laughs> that means Sarah's your girlfriend. Yes. All right. I understand yeah. that. That's what that means. She pulled a kizzy. She pulled a kizzy on us. Yep. So what does that mean? How many illegitimate children do you have? Like 15. 15? <laughs> you still don't have kizzy beat. No, I don't have time. Honestly, I don't have time for all that. I'm really focused on my music and what I'm doing right now, and I'm moving in three weeks. Right. That's know? why you take five minutes and come to the Foul Mouth Owl Show, so we can, <laughs> we, can we can ruin your mind for the rest of your all life. All right. So we appreciate you coming in. Well, thanks for having me. And at the end of the month at the Sports Zone on the 24th next week, we are going to have Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I mean, Todd Chappelle. Come and just see who the hell shows up. You never know. Dave Chappelle might show up. You never know. He might ride in on his bike. It's bike night at the Sports Zone. Yeah. It is. February 24th. Or February, yeah, right. I'm going back in time. April yeah. 24th. Come check it out. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, and see, Lauren, is that your last appearance here in Delaware? Mm, yeah, I believe so. Unless there's an open mic around here that I might hit up. But that come, be come it. check out Lauren, her last appearance here in Delaware. Yep. Where are you going to stay? You already have. Yeah, I have an apartment with roommates and all that down there. Well, it's the Kitty Video Magazine, so we're going to be there with video cameras, and we're going to make some cool um, videos out of the night and do some, mm, excuse me, interviews. And um, so you're going to live on forever here in Delaware. Sweet. Well, I definitely, definitely plan on coming back. I'm not going to be like, if you ever guys ever heard of Chuck Wicks, he comes yeah. back like once a year. Yeah. No. You got to at least come back once a year. Yeah. I'll come back once well, a year. Well, give us a call when you come back in town, and we'll have you on the show. All and right. and uh, if there's anything going on in the area, maybe we can help find some gigs for you while you're there in the you area. Go. That'd you know, be we awesome. can do that too. I so. appreciate it. Um, Squig, what else is happening, buddy? Uh, people getting blown up. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was horrible. Boston. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, people were running down the street for some marathon or something. Was it the Boston Marathon? Yep. Wait, wait, what? This is yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yesterday. You didn't hear about that? Nah. God oh, bless nah. you. You don't watch the news. <laughs> I don't God. ever watch the news. And for some reason, me and Dawn were watching the news last night, and there's all this. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. It was bad, man. Um, I have the uh, information here I will give you. Uh, beyond the shattered glass, the blood, the walls of pain, there are questions why and how. Terror. Monday's terror attack on the Boston Marathon killed an 8-year-old boy watching his family, a 29-year-old woman loved by her family and friends, and one other person. So three people were killed. More than 180 others were wounded, many losing limbs as a result of a horrific twin blast near the race's finish line in the heart of the city. Wow. Wow. So. Yo, people suck. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> I'll say, you know, people suck. I mean, it had to be terrorists. Though. It oh, it's definitely terrorist. Because it's terror, terrible, terrorizing. <laughs> it's brutal. They don't know who did it. So they're still looking. It's a shocking attack. Um, you know, an eight-year-old boy. Mm-hmm. You know, I saw images on TV last night of people with their leg blown off. Somebody holding, yeah, their, no, holding, their, holding the pressure on their wow. leg. It was, it was some brutal, brutal images. So, what's wrong with people out there? This is crazy. They smoking wet, not weed. They're smoking what? <laughs> wet. They're on basalt. <laughs> They're on basalt. <laughs> what's wet? What's that? Obama fluid? <laughs> Obama. <laughs> no, <laughs> he knows. I might know, but it is Obama. <laughs> Obama fluid. Obama fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your joint. It's a little sticky. That's good, bud. That's what they use to um, seal the paper wet, right? Ew. I don't know. I have no clue. Obama fluid. <laughs> Obama fluid. See, this is horrible coming for me. It's so obvious. That what are you talking about, Colin? We can't hear you. They, they use it to preserve like dead people. Yeah. Oh, and bomb and fluid. Yeah, right. we knew that. Bomb. And you kids <laughs> smoke it for, for fun and games. <laughs> That's why he talks it's, like he does. Like Shits and giggles. <laughs> what, it's what? What'd you say? It's like sniffing markers, but way more extreme. <laughs> and Colin would know, of course. <laughs> no one. Colin <laughs> I couldn't believe him. No one. I don't know, dude. Um, I don't know how I got to talk like this. I did not run through three markers before I came. <laughs> All right, well, to end the show, I'm going to tease you with a new artist that's coming up. Um, his name is Caesar Holla, And I'm going to jump to the middle of the song so you can't get it all, but... 
Check it out. And um, thanks for checking out the Foul Mouth Al Show. Thanks for tuning in with us. Thanks to Lauren Ventura, Il Kizzy, uh, William Bonney, and uh, a Metamorphosis is here tonight. So thanks for everybody coming out. Thanks for checking out the Foul Mouth Al Show. We'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to show up at the end of the month at the Sports Zone, 235 Stadium Street, Smyrna, Delaware, 10977. Check them out, sportszonede.com. Check out our live stream tab on Facebook. And check out Squid. Don't, go, don't forget to go to foulmouthout.com and subscribe. And everybody, make sure you tell five people about foulmouthout.com by Friday and tell them they got to do the same thing. You pay me? Because we need our numbers up. <laughs> We're trying to sell advertising over here. I got you. Elaine Carroll Studios and explorede.com, the channel where you'll never find this show because they're too politically correct. <laughs> But we got to promote them anyway. See you guys next time on the Found Out Thou Show. Yeah! yeah.